Hi Taurus and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be channeling messages focusing on no contact acts. What was left unsaid or unspoken by this ax? But before I begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Lexa Tarot, and I am a second degree Reiki practitioner as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. I want to start off by saying thank you to each and every one of my subscribers, my new viewers, and visitors alike. Thank you so much for your support. I greatly appreciate it. Continue to like, share, and subscribe so that I can continue to bring these channeled messages to you Taurus all right Taurus let, let's take a look here at this X this no contact X what was left unsaid or unspoken you guys saw that everything fell off except this card all right so everything came out you know on, on the regular side except this card so that is very telling here so what was the what what was uh what were the things here that this person left uh unsaid or unspoken so the first thing was that there was a mutual attraction so you and this ex had a very uh intertwining magnetic chemistry uh attraction to each other okay there was genuine affection here there was a natural sense of chemistry or magnetism that brought you and this person together i feel that both of you connected um, on a soulful level for some of you. Some of you may have felt that this person may have been um, your soulmate or may have been a twin flame or may have been some type of like soulful connection here, okay, with this person. This person, guess what? They felt the same thing for you, okay, Taurus? This is telling me that whether this was spoken or unspoken, there was a, a deep connection they felt with you, Taurus. And you know, and they felt that it was a mutual, uh, a mutual type of chemistry. Okay. A mutual type of soulful connection. Let's take a look here at what else may not have been shared or spoken or voiced Taurus by this no contact X. Okay. So here we have, uh, uh, a few cards here that uh, flipped open. So one of them says Zen Garden. Okay. I feel this person um, either felt at peace or felt as if things were calm or there was a calming feeling here when you and this person connected or when this person connected with you. Okay. I feel this person, um, there was an inner sense of peace. There was this inner sense of knowing that whatever connection they had with you was special or was different. There were some unique qualities or some unique type of energy between the both of you. Okay. Now this person also has moonlight. Okay. And moonlight, um, again, there was romance here. Okay. Whether this person may have said it or whether it was hidden or they were just kind of not saying this as much, they may have come across as someone who seemed a little bit stoic, kind of like that queen of swords, king of swords energy, someone that's very logical, maybe a little bit stoic, maybe a person who's a little bit quiet, okay, maybe not so showing uh, of, of PDA or of affection in that way. Maybe their love language was different, okay? I feel here that this person still felt a sense of potential here between you and them, okay? They felt some sense of insight here. I feel here that for some of you, this person may have been far from you. This could have been for some of you a long distance relationship because as you see here, it says travel and there may have been this sense of either feeling at a distance from, uh, this person may have felt that they were at a distance from you, or there was either some physical distance, meaning they were in one location, you were in another location, or for some of them, they may have enjoyed the time spent together. Maybe uh, both of you enjoyed traveling, or maybe there was a memorable vacation that you may have had with this person, but this is something where um, they do they do uh, feel or they felt um, here that there was a connection here. Now, remember that intuitive uh, soul to soul uh, energy that I was feeling earlier? Well, guess what? They have perception. And perception has both this in their third eye chakra and this 
in their throat chakra. And the this is the type of lightning, brightening, and energy. This person intuitively felt a connection with you, whether this was said or unsaid, whether they didn't voice it. But I feel here that they felt something very much on the intuitive soul here with you. Now, very interesting. You see this, they have the butterfly and they have the throat chakra. They may have not been able to share this sense of emotional transformation that this connection between you and them created for them. Okay, Taurus, this may have been some type of um, blockage they may have felt or they may have had. Remember that I was feeling this king of swords, queen of swords energy, a little bit stoic, a little bit much in their heads. Um, a lot of um, thinking, but not so much showing the emotions in the type of language, Taurus, that perhaps may have resonated or may have coincided with how you were sh showing or sharing your emotions, okay? I feel this person, even though it was, wasn't voiced enough from their part, they did feel here a very intertwining soulful connection energy with you okay taurus let's see what else was left unspoken or left unsaid here by this x now this uh deck that i am shuffling says she for every single card i am going to replace that with the person because this is this is not a gendered reading let's take a look here at what else was left unsaid what did i tell you guys the person who nurtures. This person has had insights about this connection with you. They may be your ex now. Things may have, you know, fallen, you know, apart in some way, shape, or form. But I feel here, Taurus, that this person didn't share or say enough about how much you were important to them or about, about how much they uh felt your kindness or saw your ability to nurture them i feel this is about them um and what i'm feeling here what's coming in is that this person has cried the tears or has felt this sadness of what they no longer have because they are no longer with you, right? Or you decided, either you decided to walk away or they decided to walk away. But someone someone here decided to walk away. This partnership went its separate ways. But this person now thinking back, okay, realizes that they have, sh they, that they should have shared how much they loved you or how much they felt connected to you or how much, they felt that there was a natural magnetism between the both of you or how much this connection, this relationship meant to them. They realize, as they say, um, in hindsight 2020, this person um, realizes how much they should have nurtured you, Taurus, or how much they should have nurtured the relationship in a love language that was understood by you, Taurus is what I'm feeling here. Let's see what else may have le been left unspoken and um, not said here by this no contact X. All right, Taurus, this person um, it says, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Yeah, they may not have shared that you may have been someone very unique. I said this, uh, I believe, at the beginning here where I, I was saying that there was this unique soulful connection. There was something very unique about how you and this person uh, connected or how they connected with you. They saw something very different. You may have been the type of person that they may not have dated before in the past. It's like you came with some uniqueness, okay, which was amazing to them. They realize this now, okay? They, they should have realized it back then, but for whatever reason, the insight after the pain, the separation, and the, you know, uh, the, the disconnection here, they realize that you were very different uh, type of energy. We're a very uh, unique individual. Okay. Wow. I was about to uh, 
Shuffle and these two came out. I'll take those two. They have hope. They have oath. I feel here that this person, um, they may not say this, but this person is still hopeful that they can reconnect with you. Now, I'm not saying, Taurus, that you should go call your ex of no contact. I'm not saying that this person is going to contact you. Okay, they might. Okay, maybe. But that's not the type of... Um, channeling that i'm doing i'm channeling on what was left unsaid and i feel here what was left unsaid is that they were either hopeful or that they were hoping that uh another chance within this connection could have transpired could have happened there may have been occasions here where you guys um broke up and got back together broke up or back together or instances where there were uh, differences here um, arguments and, um, it, you know, this person felt it deeply. I felt, I feel here that this person may not have shared that they felt a commitment. Okay. And a, a soulful commitment here with you. Okay. Now, very interesting here. Um, this person is putting their fist to their heart. I feel that they were a little bit resistant in sharing their emotions with you. And they now realize that they realize how much, uh, uh, they miss you or they, they realize how much they loved you or they still love you. But after the fact, after the disconnection, okay, let's take a look here at this last deck. What else is this person, this no contact X, um, not sharing or not voiced or has been left unspoken here with Taurus. Ten of Wands, there's a burden that they carried and they were or they are in this energy of releasing these burdens. They may not have discussed what these burdens were here with the Ten of Wands. But when you met them or when they met you, they were learning to release those. There was a sense of happiness that you brought to them. Okay, here to uh, to uh, to uh, this person, Taurus. This person may, uh, you, you, th this person has, has happy, ha okay, I'm kind of st stuck, okay, voice, throat chakra situation here. This person may have felt tongue-tied. This person may have had a difficulty sharing exactly what they felt because I am kind of tripping over my words all over the place, Taurus, with this person's energy. Very interesting because I've had other readings here with other signs. Hasn't happened, but it's happening here with this person. You brought a sense of happiness to them. They remember Six of Cups, past memories. They remember the memories of happiness that they shared here with you with the sun. They may not say that. It may not, they may not have shared that with you. They may not say that. But this is something that was left unsaid. There was a higher level of commitment that they felt here with you. The Herio font. This is deep level commitment. This is the marriage card. You may have been the person that they felt that you, they could have married or they would have married had things panned out a different way but they were too caught up in their own perspectives they were too caught up in their head they were maybe here outside forces in a way uh preventing them the growth that they needed in order to share verbalize this is why i'm stumbling over my words here taurus the throat chakra and they have here the butterfly there's a transformation in being able to share their emotions to talk about them to release whatever energy was in their heart there's a fist in the chest area there's a there was a sense of resistance here that this person may have felt that may not have been shared Taurus, I hope that these messages were insightful. Click here on the Lexa Tarot logo to be part of the Lexa Tarot family. Click down here for some long distance healing for you, Taurus. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.